Good morning everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Ben and um, this channel is all about my photography journey and my love of photography. Um, and also it's a record for me and also for my daughter who's six years old um, about what her daddy got up to. Um, and hopefully, as she already is, showing an interest in photography, we can enjoy a lot of this stuff together as well. But I, I enjoy watching things on YouTube uh, about photography and I think sometimes it's just nice to show other people what you get up to. Um, I'm not trying to make this a professional vlog or whatever, um, but if you like this, please like the video. If you enjoyed watching what I got up to, please like the video. Um, leave comments, whatever it is uh, that you'd like to do. So, um, today, I've been watching some things about shooting on photographic paper, so paper that you would use uh, in the darkroom to make your prints. And I thought, well, actually, well, that's quite a good idea because like, I've got cameras like this one here. It's a Polaroid uh, automatic uh, 320 land camera. Um, I've had it two years. I've not been able to shoot it because the the Polaroid pack film for it, uh, Fuji FP100C is, is like the predominant one. Um, I mean, it's no longer produced, so you can buy it on eBay. It's expired. It'll cost you a lot of money to do it. And I'm thinking like, I'm not going to do that. Um, so I adapted some batteries to it. Um, and... Yeah, now I've got a darkroom set up, I've been able to cut some um, some printer, some print paper uh, to size for that. Stick it in the cartridge, which is, which is here. Um, spare cartridge, stick it in there, and I get one shot at a time. One shot, that's fine. Okay, so I went out to experiment with that. Uh, I'm going out to experiment with that even. Um, and then equally, I've got this lovely uh, Selfix... Um, Ensign Selfix 620 camera. Uh, looks great. I shot it in Tenerife. I haven't developed the film yet, but um, yeah, I just wanted to see what that might do as well with a similar scene. So I took that out, or I'm taking that out. I took that out, whatever. Um, put one sheet of film in here as well. One of the things I really like about this camera is that you can actually um, adapt it for uh, to make it 6x6 six six or 6x9. There's a camera with a lot of cameras. But anyway, so the idea is take the print, uh, print paper, um, which is, in this case is Ilford multi-grade uh, resin coated uh, <clears throat> paper, cut it to size, stick the films in. Um, the paper's rated at about ISO 3 to 6, so I'll be metering in that respect. Um, this camera uh, has a, a set aperture of uh, f8.8 um, and I, I, on this one I can change it but uh, so I, yeah I've been using an old light meter for it as well and I will continue to do that um, and I'm going to go to uh, Corbridge a uh, little spot there before I go and see my osteopath uh, in, in Corbridge I'm going to go and shoot one shot on that one shot on that and then come back into the dark room and develop those prints. Now those prints are going to be negatives. Um, so once I've done that, I'm then going to experiment with uh, sandwiching it together with um, another piece of uh, multi-grade uh, paper um, when they're wet and then exposing it to light uh, under here um, and see what, what results I get from it basically. So yeah, um, watch this space and um, I guess you'll see me as I'm going into the dark room or coming out of the dark room and the results. So here we go. One Polaroid camera, pretty funky, pretty cool. Um, and one Ensign Selfix 620. Look at the size of the lens on that, it's lovely. Really nice camera and it looks great on the shelf. Can't wait to shoot it. All right guys. Um, See you in a while. Okay, we're in the dark room now. Um, I'm going to switch the camera off in a minute. Um, but yeah, I'm just about to cut down some of that paper to size, stick them in the cameras, uh, and away we go. 
Okay, see you later. It's the sort of view I'm expecting, but obviously in black and white. I think we're going to try here. So we've brought the um, <coughs> the cameras with the um, photographic paper out to Corbridge. Um, sunset at night so I need to work fast because it's a very very slow exposure um, didn't bring the other tripod which was a bit silly but never mind so meter um, okay, so three so eight eight an 8 second exposure be interesting about 8 second exposure alright Okay. Uh, let's say eight seconds. That's that one done. See what happens with that. And then uh, this one. They have similar shot. Um, I think I'm going to go for. Seconds as well. Seven seconds, six seconds at F8. Six seconds at F8. F8, Infinity Focus, and then I need to have 
it shut it down for seven seconds. Seconds. Clock the shutter. That one done as well. We'll see what happens when we get back to the dark room. Eh? Maybe nothing. Maybe something. But out of all of it, I got a muddy knee. We like muddy knees. It doesn't matter. Need a wash out, man. That's the sort of view I'm expecting in black and white. So I've just come into the dark room and I've developed the um, direct negatives on the Alford multigrade paper. I think I might have um, got my exposures wrong. It seems like there's a lot of information, but let's turn the light on and have a look. Three, two, one. Is there something there? Let's have a look. See. Oh, there it is. Cool. So I'm going to leave them in water just now. Um, I'm going to go pick my daughter up, and then I'm going to come and reverse them. Cool, man. Nice one. Well, hello everyone. <clears throat> that was uh, an interesting couple of days. Um, I went and shot uh, Ilford multi-grade um, paper in a Polaroid Land camera, Land Ranger camera, um, and another six by nine camera that I've got as well. Now the Land Ranger camera, I had never shot it before. Um, and shooting on multi-grade paper meant that it came out as a negative. I've been in the dark room and developed that um, negative uh, on the Land Ranger. It's that there. Aww. And uh, then I reversed it by sandwiching two papers together and uh, then shining light on it, obviously. Aww. And that's my daughter in the background uh, counting. And this is the resulting image. Which, to be honest, I'm quite, you know, I'm quite happy with it. Quite, I quite like it. Um, not the sharpest, but yeah, you know, it's a, a technique that I wanted to try. Um, so, yeah, the other um, camera that I used uh, produced a, a little 6x9 negative. I cut these papers down to size, well, you'll see earlier in the video. So, yeah, produced that negative which again I sandwiched onto uh, another piece of multi-grade paper and exposed that in the dark room. Uh, I think I exposed both of them for about 45 seconds at um, uh, grade three and a half, which might have been a little bit over, but uh, again, that's, uh, that's come out with that lovely image there. Yes, they're small, but it's kind of cool because neither of those cameras have taken any pictures in a long time. I'm happy with the results. Um, I wanted to try that uh, technique. I think I'll try that a little bit more um, and I might try some direct positive paper as well but you don't have to have direct positive paper. You can use the paper that you already have uh, in the darkroom rather than just using film, developing film and then, you know, six of one, half a dozen the other. I just thought I'd see um, 
see how it worked and I quite like it. Um, I will do it again um, with other cameras. So, yeah. Hope you're happy with the results. Um, it's like I've said before, and just enjoy photography. If you see something on YouTube that you think, wow, actually, I think I might be able to do that or I want to try that, just go out and try it. Go out, try it, have fun. That's the main thing, isn't it? Have fun. Um, next one to shoot, this little Minolta, I think. Okay, guys, thanks for watching my channel. Uh, subscribe, like, um, or don't, it's up to you. This is more a record for me and for my daughter um, when she gets older uh, of what her daddy got up to. Okay, cool. Nice one, guys. See you later. Bye.